Hi guys, it's me Austin from Avoid Heart. Today I'm going to share to you my experience on Hasbro Star Wars Rogue One uh, Surgeon Jin Elso Jedi version. All right, it is a five-point articulation figure, and it is based on the recent movie Rogue One on uh, the sur on Surgeon Jin's appearance in Jedi, where she and uh, Captain Cassian went to uh, find Saul Guerrero and find they, they wanted to find the pilot alright so if you have watched the movie uh, good for you right. so here's the figure let's have a look okay so uh, I'm sorry that I don't have the packaging with me because it is a carded packaging normally I subconsciously threw it away once I break it open so it's basically the one with the dead trooper on top you know it's the re recent packaging style and yeah I don't really keep the card with me I just break the uh, figure open I don't really care you know main and card blah 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 I just want to play with them and it's the same with this one okay uh, granted, I don't normally buy a 5-point articulation figure. I prefer the Black Series, the Vintage Collection, Legacy, or anything that has more articulation, you know, especially uh, the, you know, on the elbow and knee. But I have a reason, particular reason for this one. Okay, we'll see later. Okay, so let's see the figure in a closer look. Speaking of articulation, the head is on ball joint, so you can turn around 360, but there's not much upward and downward movement. Okay, and the arm here, you can turn around 360, and that's it. The same it goes with the left hand, the left arm. So there's three, three articulation. Okay, and I think on the abs, the other two will be on the thigh and like okay so you can make a front kick like that and you can also make a back kick with the left one as well so front and back front and back and you can do this kind of motion as well right so that's about it in the articulation department not so much okay it's a five point articulation points a figure five point articulation figure okay so you are also being given some accessories right the first one being the hood right this hood uh, similar hood is also being given to the six inch black series version but it's not being given to the black, uh, three three quarter inch black series version so I don't know why anyway it's here it's made of uh, somewhat rubbery plastic you know to allow for flexibility to put it on uh, the figure so let's try it uh, actually I've seen it on the start of video but it's okay so it fits nicely right just just nice okay so that's good and then uh, you're also being given the blaster, small blaster. It is painted nicely. Okay, not so detailed, but well, I, I think it's a normal small blaster. It's painted in metallic silver, something like that. It's not really solid. In fact, it's a, a bit rubbery as well. Mm, I don't know why. Uh, the black series version is more solid. Okay. Uh, you can grab it on her hand. Come on, come on, come on. You can put it on her hand. Just tight, alright. Oh, Rebellion is, is based on hope. Built on hope, sorry. <laughs> oh my. Okay, so it works. And not only that, yes, as you can see, she has a working holster there, molded to 
hurt thy. Okay. And put it there. Come on, come on, Jane. All right. So it works. So not only these two, you're also being given as part of the gimmicks in the five point articulation as the additional launcher. All right. So not sure what is uh, if this is relevant to the movie or not. Uh, I don't think so. It's not there. It's just it's just there for the sake of the gimmick in the toy line. So yeah, complete with the launching system. You see uh, all the spring-loaded blast, and it is working. The, uh, the way to do it is to push downward. All right. So once again, maybe remember when putting it back. Come on, come on. When putting it back, remember this part is always on the top. Okay. So. Alright, so downward. All right, so it works. Um, it's quite powerful. In fact, you can actually grab it with her hand as well. Okay. Now the only thing that bugged me is that this part is supposed to lean on her shoulder, but with the rope on, somehow you cannot do it right. Okay, so grab this with her hand. And then you can, ha oh, ha, oh, this is more like base marbles now, <laughs> with the heavy gun, alright, maybe I'll just take it off, oops, come on, come on, come on, it seems to work better without the hood on, okay. Yeah, I think so, because nothing hinders at the, at the shoulder. Alright, so that's about it. With this figure, maybe I'll just compare her to the six, uh, to the Black Series version. Okay, the Black Series version first. Okay, so here's the Black Series version compared to one version as you can see there's a significant improvement on the head sculpt right the eyes are being done properly here she seems to be much wider here as well is it yeah I think so but that's not really the problem this one I'm, I'm not sure who she is okay and then the hair uh, I think it's Similar mold, just different coloring. This one is a bit reddish. She's more like a bad red hair girl, you know. And this, is, this one is more uh, uh, what brownish. Okay. And then on the on the clothing, uh, this one is a three-piece uh, clothing with the shirt inside and jacket and vest. It seems to be that this piece, this black piece, is actually the inner garment here. I don't know, she's not wearing any jacket here. Alright. And then the glove, the glove is painted differently as well. This one is a bit uh, dark brown, this, this is lighter. Right, but the same detailing, well, similar detailing on the vest. Uh, Right, the belt that well, one is, is on a separate mold. This one, separate piece. Other than that, I think it's very similar. The boots is darker as well. The black series, okay. Uh, I like the detail on this one actually, but it's just that not as detail. Okay, so I think. Uh, if you have the chance to pick, I mean, if I'm, you're not, if you are in, on the budget, you can always uh, get just just get this one. You know, it's it's much better, with packed with articulation, better scope as well. Of course, you're giving being given the sniper rifle, but if you are crazy just like me, you know, 
Actually, I, uh, I've always wanted to try this. Yeah. Ta-da! Okay, I, I don't normally buy a five-point articulation figure. But, you know, the only reason I got her is because of this. So, I've always wanted to try this. Let's try it on! Oh my goodness, it works! So, now she's... She looks more like the 6 inch version. I don't know why they didn't put this, you know, together with the Black Series 3 quarter inch and instead give it with her, right? Uh, but they gave it to the 6 inch version. I don't know why. Uh, in fact, I'll do this as well. So, see this gun, you know. Now I can put it on uh, her hand. Okay, Rebellion is built on hub. Alright. Oh, yeah. not gripping very tightly. But it works. Uh, considering she's wielding the sniper mode, uh, I'll just put this on her holster. Yeah, look at that. It works. It works. So I don't know why. It, it, I think it's part of you know the strategy from Hasbro. All right, let's put this on her so that a uh, guy will, the guys will buy this one to compliment her. Blah blah blah. I'm not sure if that's the if that's coincidental or intentional. So I'm not sure. So, but anyway, it works really well on her. You know, it fits perfectly thanks to the rough rubbery nature of this. So I'm, I'm so going to put this on her every day, you know, and she can just sit somewhere in the closet. All right. So here's Jin and Jin. All right. So let's measure her up. She is, I think, roughly. Sorry, roughly three point three point five inch tall. Yeah, I think so. Three point five inch tall. So here's uh, she is with the black series jean version, black series version. Uh, about the same height. Well, I think she's much taller because of the open leg, right? Then I don't have much 5 point articulation figure, so I'll just compare her to this. Well, she's on the short side, so well, what can we say, you know? Right, so, overall, uh, I prefer the Black Series version, not only because of the articulation, but somehow uh, the pain on the face. It's much better still. Uh, I like all the features with the Black Series version more. I don't. I don't really need you know this this kind of gimmick. I don't really need it. Just want to have the figure with the proper accessories, and that's good enough. But unless you are a crazy guy with me, also wants to have this piece, you know, this additional piece which are not being given in the Black Series then maybe you can just get have it uh, again i mentioned to you that the only way the only reason i want to get her is to get this so if you are in any way uh, you are able to get this without buying the whole figure then go for it all right with a reasonable price of course because <laughs> i don't think it's worth to get this unless you really want to complete the whole five point figure but that's not in my case. In the meantime, I just want to put this on her, you know. Uh, oh, by the way, the gun is there already, right? So she has two guns now with the sniper. And, oh my gosh, she's lovely. Right, it works, it works, ladies and gentlemen. Again, I recommend the Black Series version for more articulation. Better, better sculpt, better features, you know, and 
but unless you want to get the hood so here she is really like this hood always wanted it so thank you for watching guys I'm Austin from Blade Heart good luck